Hiya, Laurie here, welcome back. So today I thought I would do something a little bit different. Um, excuse the little black bits, I've got wax on my, my mat. Um, and I'm going to do a sort of haul video, but I will be talking in it. <laughs> um, and that's purely because it's kind of short and sweet and it is mystery boxes. So I sell mystery boxes in my Etsy shop. And so I wanted to kind of get some for myself. And I saw these on AliExpress. So I got five of them. So I've got these three and then these two. And I thought we could open them together. But first, I also have a journal pages um, package here to open as well. So I thought I would open that with these first and then we could get on to the mystery boxes and I'm so excited. Um, I've been selling mystery boxes for quite a while now in my shop and when I saw these on Aliexpress I will um, try to link them below but obviously you know you can um, take a screenshot and do the video, uh, the photo reverse image search on Aliexpress which works a lot better than the links. Um, for instance the seller that I bought these from might not sell them anymore but Anyone who does sell these, if you take the picture and then you search with the picture, they'll all come up. Um, anyone who's selling these. And it means you can compare prices and stuff as well. But anyway, this is a little package I ordered from Journal Pages. Everything here I've bought with my own money is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. Um, so I'm going to pop these out from behind it because I can't really get the box open fully. I love Journal Pages. Again, I'll link it down below. They have such beautiful stuff and their packaging is just, it's just lovely. And I take a lot of pride in my own packaging, so it's nice to get that in return. So I've got a wee gift voucher here and then I've got a little um, sticker I think, or it might be like a bookmark, I'm not sure because it's got like a little hole at the top there. And a vellum sheet, which you can probably see better there, it's lovely. So these are wee gifts with your purchase. A little memo page and then some large washies. Look at that, that is gorgeous. And it's um, your star sign. So we've got Gemini, Aries and Capricorn there. And then another cute little one here with a lantern and books. Very pretty. So let's get into it. So the first thing here is a little stamp. I love their stamps. Their stamps are just... All their stamps, I believe, are unique to their store as well. So they make their own stamps. And this one says, collect beautiful moments. So give me a second. Went and grabbed my ink. Um, and I'm just going to ink it on the back of here, I think. Make sure I've got it facing the right way. So how is everybody doing it anyway? Are you all set for Christmas? Not quite, but I'm actually doing pretty well this year. That is so pretty and even when it like that's obviously the transfer but because it's got sort of like a gridded um i don't know if you'll be able to make that out but it's like little tiny dots it doesn't matter that you've got them because it actually looks like it's part of the stamp in my opinion anyway whereas usually you've got like a big shadow or a big line or something um let's see i'm just gonna take that excess ink off so I love their washi tapes as well. Their washi tapes are beautiful um, and I always usually buy at least one when I buy from them because they're just so pretty. And they do sticker versions of like their ladies or they do them on the washi tape which is awesome because it means obviously if you get it in the washi tape you've got them for longer. Let's grab a pair of scissors here so that I can cut this open. Sorry little lady. My goodness. How gorgeous. So this is the trinkets washi tape and they're all these beautiful framed images. I'll, I'll open it up and let you see it properly. And there we go. <laughs> and we're in. So usually these are pretty lengthy rolls and by that I mean as before they start to repeat images you usually get quite a lot of different images before they start to repeat. 
for instance. I'm running out of arm length. Oh, that says there. <laughs> so this is the mole here. It's just, oh, I just love the colours as well. They're like pastel, so they're not too harsh, but they've, they've found that perfect balance between not too light and not too dark. And I just love, love, love them. And you get a really generous amount. So this does, I mean, I've yet to run out of one of their tapes. Um, and I mean, I like use it quite often in collages and stuff. And then I've gifted lengths away as well and stuff like that. So, I mean, it does last a long, long time. There we are. So, what is next? This is one of their stamps that I got as well. This is the British Vintage Rubber Stamp Frame C. So as you can see, they've got A to E. So I have this one C. I'm trying to wrap around this piece of paper because I don't want to rip the actual piece of paper. And they've wrapped this with vellum. And that's what the stamp looks like. Gorgeous. And again, these are individual to the stamps that, um, like, they've created their own stamps. I have seen these on AliExpress, but they are a lot more expensive on AliExpress than if you go and buy them directly from the source. And apparently they're pre-ordered as well on AliExpress. So obviously they're ordering them from the shop and then they're bringing them to their shop and then bringing them to you. Um, so it takes longer. <clears throat> um, plus, you should always... Try to get them from the original artist if you can. Uh, let's see. And I've got another one of the frames. So this one is B. And we go. How gorgeous is that? And they're so big. They're such a, a good size as well. And then I think this is another stamp. But I can't actually remember. Look at the little Avril twine. So pretty. And I like this little washy bird as well. And they always have little collages and things like that on their packages. Oh yeah, I remember where this stamp is now. I remember. <laughs> They're so cool. It's your coffee stain. And I'm working on a journal at the moment and I thought that would be perfect for it because it's sort of witchy themed and just um, like really old sort of book of shadows type thing. I love this paper. This is just gorgeous. Ooh, I remember these now. Look how long that is. Obviously you can fold it in half. It does actually have a scored line here. But I love that if you put it on a page like that, you could obviously use the entirety of it. Or you could cut it and have it come off the page and look like it's um, half of an item rather than the full item. I've got another set of these because I got these the last time I ordered, the time before, I can't remember. Um, so these are the Trust Your Creativity um, sticker set. I don't know if this one has a washi tape. Can't remember seeing it. Um, but I could be wrong and it's just been out of stock or whatever when I've been at the shop. Um, I'm going to have to tear this completely open. But if I show you the back, this is all the lovely ladies that are on it. I really love this one and this one. I mean, and this one. I love them all, really. and They're just gorgeous. Um... And it's such a cute little package as well with its little stamped item. Um, so this is the stickers. And as you can, as you can see, they're a really nice length, uh, size. The only thing I don't like about this sticker is our eye. <laughs> it looks like a last minute edition sort of thing. But other than that, I really like that image. And I mean, how gorgeous is that? Just the beautiful colours and everything. It's like almost like she's got snow in her hair. Stunning. Love it all. 
and I actually keep this stuff here. This, <clears throat> this um, I honestly can't remember what it's called, but I keep this and use it in my packaging as well. So everything gets reused, even the box gets reused. Um, apart from some little bits, like I won't obviously reuse this. I might cut that out and use that little bit um, with the girls on it as a collage or something. But other than that, I will be right back. I'm going to go tidy this away and we can get into the mystery boxes. So I just realised as I was kind of packing everything away that I completely forgot to show you these stamps stamped. So I thought I would quickly do that. So let's see. There. Yeah. I want to do one of them on the, the vellum scrap piece from the wrapping paper because I just think that's going to be gorgeous. I don't know if this will actually fit in here now. Yeah, no. It's not the biggest pad and it's because it's got like a border around it as well so I don't know how well that's actually got the ink on it because it's relatively wide. Let's see. Wow. Look at that. That is stunning. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So I grabbed a little baby wipe so that I could clean it off. Um, see if I still need any of that off. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. Okay, so now this one. This one should be easier because it's thinner. I have like the strength of a wombat, so I have to put a lot of pressure on these to feel confident. Oh. Oh, like I said, um, where's the wee thingy? So I can remember what number these were. Where did Cut it out. Where are you? There we are. So, because I'll cut that centre bit out and use it as a frame. Um, so this is B and C, and they've got up to E. So they've got a good wee collection. Um, but these ones are B and C. If you're wanting the same ones. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. And I'm going to do this. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Let's see what it's like. Oh, I like it both ways. So it's like a shadow almost, like you've tried to clean it. Oh, I love it. Cannot wait to use these properly in my journal and stuff. So I'll pop this lot to the side we can get into these so I think I'm actually going to start with one of these boxes since I have two and then maybe just do it that way I mean, obviously it doesn't really matter these ones have got like a plastic over them and they are as far as I remember all from the same shop I'm pretty sure they all came in separately so I've been dying to get into these forever because they all came in at different stages and it took a while for them all to arrive and I wanted to do like an open on all of them and just look at this this is such a good wee, a cute wee gift bag as well so this is more anime style stationery rather than like vintage um, if you've seen any of my um, pen pal videos I like both styles, obviously. Um, can I get something else in there? <laughs> I think there must be a pen. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's all like little blue dots and stuff from the inside, which can't be coming from this because this has got like a little stopper. But we have a pen here. Don't recognise them. It's apparently Joe from S S Sku, maybe S K U. <laughs> Possibly. I think this is a sweet or maybe a rubber or something. I have no idea. Not a clue. 
Let's find out. Come on. Let's see. No idea. Maybe it just be one of the packets to stop um dampness or something. I don't know. If you know what it is, tell me. <laughs> this is a rubber, I think, and it's a little peanut. <laughs> that is adorable. This is my melody. This um, little peanut is from. And look, it's a little memo pad, I think. No, sticky note, sorry. What is this? I have no idea what this is. It looks like a pad of some sort. Is it like a scented thing? I hope not because I'm allergic to lemons. <laughs> I may need to try and translate this on Google. Oh wait, it's to bring your temperature down. So we have these as well, but they're usually like mint or um, something like that. Uh, so to bring your temperature down, I'm assuming, <laughs> which is very strange for a stationary mystery box. But uh, here, this is what happens. This pen has come undone. So that's what's been running riot in the bag. Let's see if I can get that cleaned off. And then we've got another anime. I love this. This is so cool. It's like an actual little clip. Um, on the pen rather than your generic little side swipe thingy. And then we have, I think this is actually a pencil, like a mechanical pencil. Yes, it is. So I will probably be giving this to my daughter if she'll take it. She's not a big pink fan, but um, it's really pretty. And Last but not least, we have a little notebook. And I honestly can't even remember how much these were. I don't think they were very expensive. Um, I think they were roughly about £10 at the most, including postaging. But I obviously can't remember, so don't quote me on that. So I think it's a pretty decent haul for what you pay. Um, just pop that in there. Not sure about this thing though. <laughs> That's a bit random if it is for your temperature. Um, but I think so, judging by the images on the back. But if you can understand it, let me know. <laughs> so that is box one. Put these over to the side. And let's see what we've got in my melody. I love the little bags. The little bags are so cute. I may actually reuse these for like Christmas gifts for the kids. Like put wee sweeties or something in them. Because they're just so cute. Okay. Ooh, so I've got stickers. And they feel like washi stickers maybe. Yeah, washi tape stickers. Or just washy stickers, whatever they're called. A little itty bitty pen. Oh, that is so cute. I like the gold clip as well. I'm easily impressed, as you can see. And again, it's this one's sealed. And it's got a little lady right on the back there. I'm not sure what she is from. And then we've got another pen. And it's got that little actual clip side as well. And then it's got little foxies. L Lena Bell. I'm assuming that's a character from my melody. Um, and then that one's sealed up nicely as well. Ooh, I like this one. I like this one. And this is an, a memo pad. That is beautiful. And then we've got a little notebook. Oh, that is so cute. And then we have another ring bound. Oh, nice with graph paper. I like it. That's a, I really, I'm really happy with that one. 
compared to the other one. Um, I much prefer the stuff in that one. Okay, so this one is Kuromi, I think. More gothic looking, I think. Here we are. Oh my goodness. So we've got a completely fallen apart pen. But it's pretty. <laughs> Again, I'm not sure who these are. Moo Moo. But it's got the sealer on it at least. <laughs> And then we've got another, um, was it Luna Bell? Lina? Lina Bell? Aye, ah, Lina Bell. Um, I'm probably still pronouncing it wrong. Um, pen. It's just slightly larger image. And again, it's got that awesome wee clippy thing. And then we have another little notebook. And a memo pad. I really like that as well. It is so cute. It's like a little swing cloud. Um, some stickers. And then a little ring bound. So it's basically the same idea as the last one. Except in this style. So I'm assuming that will probably be very similar as well. Because these are all the same type of box. Just different versions of it. And I can't even remember what anime this is but it's cool so this is what we're working with thank you doke. oh no almost broke my box <clears throat> okay oh we've got a little print stick I think a little glue stick. That is so cute. Love it. Um, I've got another <laughs> falling apart pen. I think this is the same one. Yep, it's the same one I got just a second ago. But very cool. And then this one, nice day, has got a lot of gold lining, like gold. Ah, oh, what's the word? Drawn images, I suppose. <laughs> but it looks like they've been outlined. That was the word I was looking for. Outlined with gold. And it's got a little girl on it with a red bow in her hair. And it says, nice day. And a little speech bubble. And this... Oh, this is one of the fine point pens. If you can see that. It's very fancy. I like it. It's very bougie with it being gold. Oh, I like this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Love it. And you get a decent amount in the memo pad as well. So yeah, it's the same idea, just in the different styles. So you've got the lines notebook, the graph notebook, and the memo pad. And then last but not least, You definitely get more in these ones than in the other versions. Um, so yeah, there's definitely a little bit more in these ones. Um, yeah, I think that's just to stop dampness. So I'm not going to open that one again. <laughs> and let's see what we have here. I think it might... Oh no, it's different actually. It's a pair of bananas. Well, a set of bananas because there's more than two. <laughs> And I do think that these are rubbers, but I might be wrong. Or erasers. Whichever you prefer to call them. And I've got another um, mechanical pencil here. It's different though, because the other one was pink. And this one is blue. Eh, blue. Orangey. Peachy colour. And it's... 
not working. Oh, it's slightly bent. Hold on. There we go. Mm, I think it's too small. I think it's out of lead. Woo! Okay. We're not expecting that, but all right. Um, don't mess with things you don't understand, Lori. Jeez. <laughs> okay. So I think it definitely needs more lead because there was like none in there. But then again, this feels rather loose as well. So it might just be a dud. Um, so we've got another clicky pen here. And again, it's not sealed actually. I was about to say it's sealed, but no, it's just got ink on it. <laughs> um, and again, it's got one of those little clippy bits. And let's see. another anime character and then we've got that same one that I got last time I think yeah so we've got these ones which are sealed so that's a plus <laughs> and then we've got two of the same memo pad in this one which is cool but odd and then another um, spiral memo pad, a uh, notebook, and then another one of these lemony things. So I don't know what they are, but I'm allergic to lemons, so they'll be going in the trash. <laughs> um, but I'm so happy with that. I'm gonna go put all the, the trash away, and then I will be right back. Okay, so that's everything I got, but I think I'm gonna be testing the pens. And since I got two of these, I'll probably use this one, but I want to just kind of make sure they work the ones that, I'm, um, that aren't covered that is like these ones that I've got like the little waxy thing on the end they, they should work fine but like for instance this one oh I like it that is so smooth that is beautiful so obviously you got a lot of pens but I'm a pen fanatic so I am not mad at that at all love it um let's see so they all kind of write like the fine liners they feel more like a fine liner than a ballpoint in my opinion um and then we've got the pencil that was a good one um so let's see I could never get the hang of these mechanical pencils in school. I always just preferred a regular pencil. Um, that's it in pencil. Oops. There we go. Um, <laughs> so I think I do have lead somewhere. I have not lead, but you know what I mean, the pencil nib thing. But um, I'm really super happy with that. I think it is really fun to open, and I will definitely use everything here um whether it be in my own crafts or in just pen pal letters or things like that um some of them i will definitely be gifting off to my daughter because i've got a lot of doublers here um and like i said the mechanical pencil she she likes to draw with those um so i will probably be giving off all my doublers and the pencils and i'm going to see if i can obviously figure out if that just needs new lead or I know I keep saying lead I know it's not lead but it used to be <laughs> and my mind won't forget it um so yeah <laughs> thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed I hope you are well and I'll hopefully see you soon take care and god bless bye